Death is defeated at the resurrection. Death is undone, and the righteous will enter the eternal state. After the resurrection, no more enemies remain to be defeated. No earthly enemies can rebel. Death is the last enemy. No spiritual enemies can wage war against Christ or the church. Death is the last enemy. No final apocalyptic battle awaits in the future. Death is the last enemy. The resurrection marks the end of this age and all war and fighting. There can be no tribulation after the resurrection and the return of Christ. There can be no battle of Armageddon after the resurrection and the return of Christ. There can be no spiritual war after the resurrection and the return of Christ. If death is truly the last enemy to be defeated, then the resurrection marks the end of all war. The resurrection must occur after all tribulation and all battle, both spiritual and earthly, only after the defeat of every other enemy, sin, the world system with its kingdoms, the flesh, the principalities, Satan, and the wicked, will death be defeated by the resurrection of the dead. What does this have to do with the millennial reign? Premillennialists believe that Christ is going to return, raise believers from the dead, and then reign for 1,000 years on the earth. They believe that after these 1,000 years, Satan will be released to wage war on the church. The nations of the earth will rebel against Christ, leading to a final confrontation with all the armies of the earth. But all of this is supposed to occur after the resurrection. According to the premillennial system, Paul clearly teaches that death is the last enemy defeated at the resurrection, which means the tribulation and the final rebellion cannot occur after the resurrection. Paul teaches that Christ turns the kingdom and his reign over to the Father at this time. Christ won't begin his reign on the earth at his return and resurrection. He will conclude his earthly reign 